This video demonstrates backup as a service capabilities across private, public, and hybrid cloud use cases. Here we're showing a possible public provider that's opted to include backup as a service capabilities for their tenants. We click the register for backup option here, which goes and actually sets a backup policy per V app to actually opt in for whatever the default policy is at the organizational VDC layer. We're looking at the V app, and this is how the public provider has decided to present information. Now we have a link here to actually go into the vCloud director environment. This is where the providers decided to advertise the capabilities that vCloud director offers instead of bringing all this into their portal. So as we're looking at it, we can see that the backup information for policy is actually held as metadata for this V app. So the object in vCloud Director is holding the information that's required to actually do the backup, the schedule, the retention policy, and the inclusion and exclusion. Here we can see that we're now logging in as a cloud administrator to vCloud Director. With a cloud administrator, we're able to configure some of the policies that are then consumed by private cloud or hybrid cloud consumers. So as we look at the, the first policy, we're looking at the catalog. The catalog includes all the policy templates, just like in vCloud Director where there's a catalog for vApp templates that are then distributed. Uh, here we just saw a freemium tier, which is the 30 days and the daily backup. Now that policy template is actually made up of what we're showing here, which are the schedule and the retentions. Now the next thing we need to do as a cloud administrator is actually create these backup gateways or backup, backup appliances. Backup appliances can be shared, distributed, federated. Uh, this means that they can scale in any different way that we require. Uh, as you can see, the backup appliance requires vCenter integration. So this allows a backup appliance to work at a vCenter level to the, do the virtual machine backups. Now the next thing is actually take any of the templates and the backup gateways or, or repository we, we've created and apply them at an organizational VDC level. So this allows the organizational admins uh, to actually go in and consume anything that we give them. So we're, we've actually given them this freemium uh, policy already. So this template has become a real policy. Uh, and then once that policy is real for the org VDC, we can actually uh, customize it a little bit more. So if we wanted to change the schedule or retention uh, for that consumer or the org admin, we can do that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to log in as an organizational admin to the plugin. So this means that we're actually going to be limiting what they see to their org and we're also going to be limiting the capabilities that they have once they come in. So notice that at the top there's no configure tab anymore and notice on the left there's only one organization. It's important to mention that this is all held within vCloud Director. So the authentication and authorization is going through vCloud Director. There's no external database for this. So as we look at the uh, default policy that's applied and the repository, it's all set. Uh, if we wanted to, we could go to the vApp and change its policy. And you know, instead, we're actually going to go and kick off our first on-demand backup. So here, there you can see the task in the bottom right that's begun. Uh, as you can see, the task is now running for an ad hoc backup. Uh, we can switch over here to vCloud Director to show that in vCloud we're leveraging the task to um, advertise to the user that there's an operation occurring on their virtual application. And then we can go back and see that that operation finished. So the next step we're going to do is do a quick restore of the virtual application. So as we navigate to the VDC again as the org admin, right, enabling backup as a service and restore as a service, we're going to go and click the uh, individual uh, recovery point uh, or, or backup that we want to restore. So here you can see we've selected the vApp and the point to restore. We'll say finish. And again, the task in the bottom right pops up and you can see that the task is, is then in this window. So one thing to really highlight here is not only are we authenticating and authorizing through vCloud Director, but we're also using the extensible APIs of vCloud Director. So what this means is that all the backup requests and everything you saw in the GUI is happening through vCloud Director's API. So here we're showing API calls that are to list the backups that are available for a vApp, and the next one is actually to do a, a restore of a certain backup, number 10, for that vApp. So these are all going through the vCloud Director cell. Now the next piece we're going to show is the REST interface. So Postman is a Google Chrome plugin uh, which we can leverage to uh, integrate with the REST API of vCloud Director. 
So here we're first issuing a session login uh, to log into the cell, and then we're going to list the vApps that are actually running within a certain VDC that we've pre-configured. So there you can see the vApp that we saw from the GUI. Now, we're also going to show the extensions. So just like we ran default uh, vCloud director API calls a second ago, now we're issuing calls to the same API for backup services. And then we're going to click a, um, the backups uh, against a vApp, which lists the backups that we saw in the GUI. So as you can see, simple integration. So if you're already integrating with vCloud director, integrating with the backup services to provide your customers backup as a service is very simple. The next window is going to show how backup as a service capabilities can be scaled for deployment and operations for private and even public cloud. As we're looking at public clouds, you know, if the model is dedicated cloud, that may mean that the services, the vCenter server, the vCloud cells are stood up on demand per customer as they sign up. So for backup as a services, we would want to make sure that we have something like Puppet to help deploy and configure uh, the different capabilities for backup as a service. Uh, under the covers, we also want to make sure that the scale of messaging is there to meet the, the large demand from clouds. So RabbitMQ should be used for internal messaging and even external. So along with that, we want to make sure that um, if it's not a dedicated cloud and it's a, possibly a shared cloud, that we can assign backup gateways and policies on the fly along with register organizations. This is all very similar to how a, a customer who does sign up for cloud services uh, would need an organization and an org BDC created for them in vCloud.